it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if then you didn't already. I post every day of the week for on today in this video I'm going to talk about my top 10 kitchen safety tips. Now, um, as an employee at a restaurant, I have been learning so much about kitchen safety, especially when I was cooking with my mom and everything. So I've learned so much about handling things and how to be safe in the kitchen. So kitchen and I hopefully this will help you and hopefully help your kids as well if they want to learn how to cook but cook and because I know there's some kids at a young age who want to learn how to cook but kids need to know how there is an important rule about cooking cooking and how to be safe with cooking and I'm gonna get started started and if you guys have any kitchen safety tips that I have missed let me know down in the comments below and I'm going to get started so number one on my list would have to be don't scare someone while they're emptying the dishwasher this was one experience that I had on accident while um I was emptying the dishwasher my sister's friend scared me and I that was not safe because I had a kitchen knife a steak knife in my hand and I could have turned around and hurt her because her, her and I did not think that was very funny that she tried to scare me when I had a steak knife in my hand and I have a full story about that and I'll leave a link to it down below and I'm gonna I mean sorry I'm about to say I'm gonna get started but I've already started the video video so just be aware if you're a kid and you're trying to scare your parents while they're doing something never do it because it's not funny if they have something sharp in their hand like a kitchen knife it's not safe number two hey, if you can die dangerously so get hurt or hurt them at them okay so number two on my list would have to be walking in with always walk with the knife pointed down so this is the same as scissors is you always want to make sure you walk with the knife pointing down especially if it's a dull knife because dull knives especially can hurt people too do even if they don't look sharp it's always important to walk with the knife pointing down knives are like scissors they can cut you if you don't handle them safely number three in my list you have to be be aware when the oven door is open so this is a scary story so one time my sister and her friend were playing this game where they were making themselves faint and one of my my sister's friend almost fell right next to the open oven door when my mom was cooking and we had to get them out of the kitchen because my mom was trying to cook cook and we told them how it was unsafe for them to be doing that that and it's not just be aware of when the oven door is open because you don't want to accidentally put things things on it or or fall when the oven door is open because because you don't because people can get seriously hurt hurt my sister and her friend were playing a weird game where they were pretending to faint and we knew they were joking around but one of them almost fell on top of the open my sister's friend almost fell on top of the open oven door and my mom and I got, got had to get them out of the kitchen because we told them how unsafe it was for them to be doing that Number three, my oh, number four, my list would have to be never leave the house while cooking food. So food, it's like you never want to leave the oven on while cooking food. I t personally don't feel comfortable if I'm ever baking and I'm out of an ingredient. I always make sure I turn my oven off before I leave, despite the fact I'm preheating it. I don't feel comfortable leaving my oven on while I'm leaving the house. It's really not safe i'm worried i'm going to start an oven fire and i always when i leave my house i always make sure my oven is turned off turned off actually i i know somebody one time who was cooking corn dogs in their oven and accidentally left their oven on but she ran home and turned it off as quickly as possible possible it's okay i mean it's like we'll forget and stuff but it's always important to just turn your oven if you're going if you're not going to be home home and because you can start a fire number five on my list would have to be never leave kitchen knives in reach of children now this is a very important safety rule is like i know a lot of you guys know this if you have kids like at a small age that are three or two you never just want to leave something dangerous like knives out so because they could get into them they could cut themselves and it is no fun when somebody cuts themselves it just hurts really bad God. So it's always important to make sure your children aren't in the kitchen when you're using knives because you don't want to cut anybody. 
Number six on my list would have to be don't leave kitchen towels or hot pads near the burner. Now, I remember one time I was cooking and one time, um, I think my mom was cooking or something or I don't remember, I accidentally left a hot pad almost near the burner and that's not really good. My mom took it off right away, away because she was worried about the fire starting. Starting and it's always just good to make sure there is nothing flammable near the burner because you don't want to start a house fire. Number seven on my list has to be always pay attention to when you're cooking. So this is one of my biggest things that irks me is like when people try to call me while I'm cooking. I don't like being called while I'm cooking because I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. I remember one time one of my friends called me, but she, but I told her I politely I, that I had to call her back because I was in the middle of cooking chocolate over the stove and I didn't want to burn the chocolate. And she was very understanding, which was super nice, super nice. And she waited till after I was done. So if so I say you're cooking, I always let people know when you're, you're cooking. If people are trying to call you, just let them know that you're cooking so then you can pay attention to what you're doing because you don't want to burn your food or let it, um, let it, um, or catch your house on fire. Number eight on my list would have to be don't run into people who are carrying hot water. So this is not a very safe thing is like, like, in my kitchen, it's super small, so it's easy to bump into people or get in the way. You never want to get in the way when you have something super hot, like hot water, because it literally can burn, uh, you literally can burn somebody with really hot water, and it hurts to drop hot water. I remember, I think, one time I dropped so it didn't burn me, but I dropped hot, some hot water on my foot. I was making Top Ramen one time, and I accidentally dropped some hot water, and I was wearing, and I was barefoot, which probably wasn't a very smart idea. Yeah, and it did, it didn't burn my foot at all, it just hurt. Number nine on my list, we have to be always make sure the appliances are turned off when finished. One second. I apologize, I had to close the door. So anyway, um, so uh, this is one thing my mom always has to do is when she leaves the house is like she always makes sure like the oven's turned off the stove's turned off everything on the oven is just completely turned off before um we leave the house because we don't want to start a fire in our house house and <laughs> house and then when we're done cooking we always make sure we turn everything off off which is a good thing because it um because if we don't turn everything off we could probably start a house fire fire and we don't want that number 10 on my list would be don't stand in someone's way when they're cooking now this is one thing that really irritates me when i'm cooking because like i said my kitchen's really small but we're going to rearrange it later because we don't we can't rearrange it now because especially because of covid but um we're going to rearrange my kitchen just to make it easier for all of us because everybody just gets in everyone's way when they're cooking and it really really irritates me and and it's never good to get in someone's way when they're cooking because they could have hot water, they could have like a kitchen knife, and it's just not safe to to just stand in someone's way when they're in a kitchen, especially if it's really, really small. At least small and they have like something hot like water or just, just like hot food. It's just never safe. Okay, so those are my top 10 kitchen safety tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if this was very helpful for you and you can use this with your kids and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all and I'll see you everybody soon. Bye!